Good morning world. I've got my new biker jeans on. I've not got a clue what date it is. This lockdown, I'd imagine it's something like the 33rd of April. Something stupid like that. Right. Now today, I am getting essentials for ourselves. So I've got all my top box on. I've got my rucksack in the top box. So I'm ready to get some essentials. Another beautiful week. I'm now on night three of camping in the tent with a little lad. I said we are not doing tonight because I'm in work tomorrow not that I'm not getting a good night's sleep it's just more that I'll wake Trent up in the morning when I'm getting the bike ready and I can't exactly leave him in the tent on his own out there he's only five so I said nope tonight we'll be sleep in the house and then tomorrow night we'll be back out there he loves it absolutely loves it in the tent because I've got to say it is quite nice I mean, we're going to bed early because obviously come half past eight, nine o'clock he's like, he's flaking so half past nine, ten-ish he starts going to sleep so it's nice just to lie there on the airbed just relaxing turning it into a right slob so and also at the minute um, I do suffer from a bad back, lower part of my back. Not that often, but often enough to do my head in. Now what I've noticed since, what are we on now? I don't even know, I don't even know what day it is. Let me have a look on the phone. What are we on? Tuesday. So since Sunday, my back was hurting. And I was lying on my front in bed and kind of arching backwards, just trying to stretch me back out. And as I did that, I was twisting my hip. And all of a sudden, my back got better. But I've now got a horrendous pain down my left leg. So I think I've chopped the sciatic nerve. And oh my god. The best way. The best I can try and explain what it feels like is imagine there's like a, a string running right through the centre of your bone, all the way down your leg all through your knee, right the way down to your toes and it just feels like that's attached to your muscle and someone's pulling it up tight so it hurts to sit, I can't sit on that side uh, from what I've read uh, on the internet, did the old usual internet Google diagnosis. It does look like it's sciatic, sciatic, sciatic nerve. The only thing mentioned with the sciatic nerve is it does say you get a sharp pain. No, I'm not getting a sharp pain. Mine's more like it's like a dull toothache, constant. Um, some certain positions lying down, it's fine. I don't feel it. So I've been finding lying on the airbed from about nine o'clock of the night does seem to be helping but I'm on now into some, uh, day three of it and there's no change no let up yet the only thing I was reading about um, sciatic nerve is they said it can take four to six weeks oh my god I can't be doing with this for four to six weeks it shows you actually where the nerve is right basically it runs right at the bottom of your spine inside your pelvis and it says if you've got any disc problem or anything like that or inflammation of the back the slight swelling or inflammation 
can touch the sciatic nerve. I didn't read always how close it was actually, how easy it was just to uh, affect that nerve. And we've got a new thing uh, for Goose. Goose concentrates a lot of his time on trying to raise money for Ricky's last road. And obviously at the minute there's not a lot he can do. He normally does a lot of raffles. Collecting raffle money and putting all the money to Ricky's last ride, but obviously he can't get out. So, what Goose is going to do, he said he's coming out of retirement. Now what that means with Goose is, Goose was, I think, I'll have to confirm with him, but Goose was a semi-professional gymnastic. Gymnastic. He is like an elastic band, that guy. So uh, whenever we've done gym, gymnastic clubs and that, um, Goose has been the coach, teaching the kids gymnastics. So what he wants to do is, we're going to do a little competition, we're going to video him and we're going to see how far he can walk on his hands, doing a handstand. Now, apparently he's very good at this, so it'll be good to see. So he hasn't done it for quite a few years, now obviously, now he's the grand old age of in his 50s. But um, I think he's still flexible enough, so he's going to have a go at doing it. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a little competition of to see how far Goose can walk on his hands. And the closest to it will win a motor of hoodie. We'll get you a hoodie sent, although it's nearly summer in this weather. But no, the hoodie will be good. We'll get you a hoodie out. So we'll have the motor of logo on there and you can have any other custom design voyage on it you want. So you can donate whatever you want to have a go in the competition. There's no like set fate. Donate as much as you want, as many times as you want. And all we ask you to do is in the comments, because it's a it's a PayPal pay, a PayPal tool. So when you pay in there, in the comments, just put what distance you think you can do. Do you reckon you can do 10 foot, 20 foot, 30 foot on his hands? be quite good actually to see. Actually while, you, while he's doing it I might give him a quick punch. See see how fast he falls down. And obviously it's supporting the NHS because um, the blood bikers do a lot of work for the NHS and, and I think more recent in the recent times is I think they are delivering COVID-19 tests. Chip in 50 pence a pound whatever you can and have a go. Even if you ain't bothered about winning a hoodie, then it'd be the last thing you'd want to wear is a motor hoodie, but, you know, come on, have a go. Let's get this blood bike on the road. Now, I wonder what the queues are going to be like at the supermarket. See, already being on the bike, my hip, my leg feels better already. I wonder if it's bike withdrawal syndrome. Is my left leg, because it's not changing gear, is it? Is it struggling? Are these the symptoms of not riding your bike?
走。